Hi, I'm Jesse Waters in for Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly Factor special, Election 2016. Let's get straight to our top story Donald Trump on offense. After big shakeups in his campaign staff this week, Trump pulled no punches against Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail. Hillary Clinton is a throwback to an ugly past where politicians preyed on our poorest citizens while selling them out for personal gain. Promises, promises, all talk, no action. All talk, no action politicians. They talk, talk, talk. You vote them in with great fanfare, and then they do nothing. With Trump, that's not going to happen. But on Thursday, we heard Trump speak in a way we've never heard before. Sometimes, in the heat of debate, and speaking on a multitude of issues, you don't choose the right words or you say the wrong thing. I have done that. <laughs> and believe it or not, I regret it, particularly where it may have caused personal pain. Too much is at stake for us to be consumed with these issues. But one thing I can promise you this, I will always tell you the truth. So the question remains, is Trump doing enough to beat Hillary in November? Joining us now for analysis, Congressman Sean Duffy, a Republican from Wisconsin, and Leslie Rutledge, the Attorney General of Arkansas, both are surrogates for the Trump campaign. So we know Mr. Trump likes to make nicknames. And you know, he had Crooked Hillary and Lying Ted, but I heard his family has given him a new nickname. It is Humble Trump, because he is now, for the first time, expressed regret. So this is obviously a monumental moment in this campaign. Uh, we know Trump has a big wallet and a big personality. And I think now you're beginning to see Trump with the big heart. And um, I want to ask you guys, do you think he'll effectively be able to balance the big hearted, compassionate Donald Trump, which we've started to see with the tough guy, law and order, take no prisoners, Donald Trump that we know and some of us love? When he's delivering this compassionate, heartfelt, uh, humble message, he's authentically Trump. Yeah. Um, he, I mean, he is who he has always been. And I think what he's doing with this message is uh, he's appealing to women, but also how he's crafted this message. He's going after those who are disenfranchised by the economy and being a change agent, saying, listen, if you, if you want more of the same and expect different results, you'll be sorely mistaken. But if you want someone who can change it, I'm your guy. I thought one of the most impressive lines from two nights ago was when he, was when he said, um, why can't our children be dreamers too? Um, that appeals to every parent who has a child who wants their kid to have a shot yeah. at the American dream. I thought he's pulling at heartstrings and delivering the right message for the first time uh, since he's won the primary uh, four months ago. Yeah, he's definitely striking a more unifying tone. Uh, he's kind of rising above the politics and looking at all Americans. Yeah. Uh, Leslie Kellyanne Conway, a uh, great female pollster who's now on the Trump campaign, she is credited with this kind of newer, softer Trump. Because we all know men will never admit when they're wrong. Men never make a mistake, and when they do, they will never admit it, because it's a sign of weakness. Now, when I make a mistake, because I'm such an evolved person, I always apologize. But Trump apologizing, kind of, do you think this will appeal to women, and do you think that is what this is all about? I think this week we've seen the real Donald Trump come out, the, stating that he regrets using some of those words that were perhaps unwise, but what we are seeing is that Donald Trump is honest. He is straightforward, an absolute contrast to Hillary Clinton, who lies on top of lies. What we're seeing from these speeches are he's given hope. As the congressman said, as the candidate has said, Donald Trump is a change agent. That's what Americans need. That's why he's talking to folks in inner cities and across our great country, because they need jobs. And that's what Donald Trump is going to bring to the table, are jobs and be a change agent. 
Whereas Hillary Clinton, quite mm -hmm. frankly, she'll just be secretary of the same. Same old failed policies of Barack Obama. Same, same failed job growth that we've seen across our country for the last seven years. And we don't need four more years of secretary of the same in Hillary Clinton. We need a change agent in Donald Trump. And I think if he runs as change, I think he wins this election. He just has to get out of his own way. The election right now is boiling down to you have Hillary Clinton, who he's tagging as the lying, incompetent runner of a rigged system that you cannot trust and is going to deliver you the same failed policies as President Obama. Or you have an outsider businessman that's going to tell you the truth most of the time and it's going to really hurt, but he is going to never lie to you. And if he can frame it that way and tie Hillary into the policies of President Obama and create a more uplifting, unifying tone, he has a much better chance at winning independence and at changing the map around and even rallying his own base because I think the base loves the Trump that they've seen the last week and a half with the teleprompter and going to Milwaukee where there's pain and suffering, going right. to Louisiana where there's pain and suffering. I, I think you're seeing uh, a comeback. Would you agree that this is the Trump comeback? Yeah. It is, and Jesse, that's why I, I people would. are coming out in droves and talking. People are reaching out to me from across the country saying, this is the Donald Trump we're excited about. This is the Donald Trump that's going to bring America and put us back on our feet again, put us back to work, that we want to update our resume, that Hillary Clinton, you know, she started her career, she and Bill Clinton did, in the same office that I hold as Attorney General, their career of corruption. People are tired of the same old, same old in Washington, D.C. They're ready for that change agent. Congressman, do you think he and, and needs Jesse, to change if I, if anything could, else, or do you think his trajectory is on the right path? If he does what he's been doing for the last week, week and a half, uh, I think Donald Trump is going to win this election. If you've been to one of his rallies, uh, which I was at the one in Milwaukee, the power of the energy that comes from the people that come out to see him is absolutely overwhelming. Yep. And I think he was taken by that and liked to be off script and, and feed the, the crowd. But he had to realize, I'm not just talking to the crowd. I've got millions of people who see my speech for the next five days. That's right. What he's realized I, I now think is if, he can, I think if he, he can gets be on beyond, script, Jesse. If he gets beyond the big crowds and feeding off the electricity and it looks long-term, I think he's going to be great. Guys, we've got to run. Thank you very much. But he gets them both.